Welcoming now the head coach of Florida State football, Coach Mike Norvell. Coach, appreciate you making some time. How are we doing today? No, everything's going well. Uh, excited. We're start spring practice come Monday, and uh, you guys have done a great job in the winter program. Really looking forward to getting out there on the field. You have one of the coolest winter program names, Tour of Duty, the Tour of Duty workouts. What goes into those, and what's the meaning behind that name? Well, you know, it's uh, as as every program has their, you know, their standard or the way that the things that they're going to do to try to build the identity of our team. Um, you know, this is that this is ours. And, you know, as I tell our guys, I miss mean, the backbone of our of our uh, program, the way that we work, the the investment that's that are made. I mean, you know, obviously there's a lot of great work that goes on in the weight room, you know, what guys are doing in the meeting rooms. But uh, when it comes to those tour duty workouts, uh, we try to have the uh, the hardest, most grueling, you know, you know, opportunities for our guys to be able to grow and to build not only their physical uh, conditioning, but their mental toughness and, you know, just uh, continuing to, to develop in the efficiency of how we move. And so uh, you know, our guys have done a great job with it. And, uh, you know, I really like uh, the, the steps that we've taken throughout this winter program. And such an exciting 2022. I mean, double digit wins going two and zero in the state. What's the feeling around that building right now within your team? I mean, it's, it's a hungry football team. It's one that, you know, we, you know I was more excited about, you know, some of the steps that have been taken, um, you know, the, the things that were done, you know, last year on the field, you know, we were proud of. But, uh, you know, the, the growth and development of, of who we are on and off the field is something that you know, we're still working day in and day out to improve. And, uh, you know, we've got these, uh, great players that have returned, some, uh, you know, incredible newcomers that have joined our program. And, you know, we're excited about what the future holds. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm definitely honored to be able to coach this group. And uh, you're excited uh, for them to, to go and, and live out and fulfill to fulfill the potential that I believe they have. And, Coach, it seems like everybody wants to look to next year and, and put more expectations on y'all and heap more pressure on y'all. How do you communicate with your team now with that expectation bar just continuing to rise outside the program? Well, I mean, it's still about us. And, you know, last year there, were, there weren't a whole lot of expectations from the outside on what we could do. And, you know, we didn't really listen to those expectations. You know, we focused on what, what we believed that we could accomplish and what we could, what we could do through hard work, through belief through, uh, you know, you know, great relationships within this team. And, um, you know, now people on the outside, uh, you're expecting, you know, probably more, um, but we're still, you know, we're still focused on us. We're still focused on controlling the things that we can control. And, uh, you know, that's, that's just going out there and being the best we can be. And uh, there's nobody, there's nobody in the country that has higher expectations than what we have. And so, uh, you know, these guys, uh, you know, they're working for it, but we got to go earn it every day. And that's something you talked about a lot. I mean, I listened to, I think, all of your post-game press conferences throughout the year tracking y'all's success. And it was always, it's about us. It's about the guys in these walls where does that internal over external philosophy come from for you? I mean, it's it, the control, the controllables. I mean, there's there's a lot of things in the world that you can't control, and uh, you know, you know, no team, nobody that's outside of this uh, outside of this building, you know, can we have you know any real impact on? But we absolutely can on on, on what we're doing and making sure that as, as long as we're showing up and we're putting forth our best foot uh, and how we prepare and what we do and the sacrifices we're willing to make and and the investment that's that's going into it, uh, you know, I believe I believe in the guys that I coach and I believe in what their potential is. I believe in you know you know, where we can go. And, and ultimately it's just about going in and living that out because, um, you know, that, that's what, that's what this, this journey is all about. It's about, you know, you know, being able to maximize the potential, but also, you know, enjoying who you get to do it with. And you also place a really high value on competition. That's one of the, it sounds like foundational pieces of your program. And y'all did a phenomenal job, obviously on the field. How do you approach recruiting from a competitive level against schools like the Miamis, like the Floridas? Well, I mean, for us, it's about finding the right fit. You know, we want the biggest, strongest, fastest, best fit for Florida State. And, you know, that's what we've been able to bring into this program. And you look you, you look at this last season, you know, we're one of only three teams in the country that had a top 15 offense and a top 15 defense. I mean, this is it, it's taken everybody. And, you know, there weren't a whole lot of people uh, that were probably, t you know, expecting or talking about us being able to do that. But, uh, but I know who we coach. And I know the guys and the playmakers that we have. And, you know, when it comes to, you know, how we go about the recruiting process, it's, it's finding the guy 
guys that fit needs that we have, uh, but it's also guys that you know you know, fit the, the mindset, uh, the work ethic, you know, the relationships that, that we want to be able to build this program with. And you know, when that all comes together, I mean, it really is a wonderful thing. And uh, you know, I think you you've seen that, and um, you know, we've got some great players, and we've been able to attract guys at a at a, at a very high level uh, that are they're also feeling up. Uh, you know, filling those needs and bringing great competition into our program. Coach, you said it. Y'all recruit well at the high school level, but you've also just crushed it in the transfer portal. Fentrell Cypress, uh, Jaheim Bell. What makes Florida State such an optimal landing spot for guys coming out of the portal? I mean, this is an incredible university, and uh, you know we've got a, a wonderful tradition. Uh, you know, we, you know, our players and the the examples, and and you know, obviously the experiences that they've had. Uh, they're some of our they're some of our greatest recruiters because when when guys are you know, are transferring and they're looking for you know their next their next destination, you know, they're looking for the same thing. They want to go to a, a place that fits you know fits them. It's going to give them an opportunity uh, to go and showcase their skills uh, you know, on and off the field. And you know, as they come in, you know, I, I just very transparent parent very honest on on what they can expect what it's going to look like uh you know they have to earn everything that they get but they they want to be a part of something bigger than themselves and um you know, I know there's there's a lot of schools you, know, you can point to uh, that have taken transfers. I just think we've gotten you know we've gotten the right ones and guys that have come in and been able to be very productive. And you know, when when players are are making their choice of what they want to do, uh, we don't have to we don't have to sell them a vision of what could happen. We can show them an example of what has happened in very similar situations. Coach, last question for you before we let you go: Jared Verse and Jordan Travis said let's do this again one more year we're coming back what was your response to that and then what are your expectations for them and the rest of your team heading into spring i mean i was grateful you know anytime you have guys uh, you know and, and th those are two you also had uh, you know, Fabian Lovett, you know, Johnny Wilson, uh, you know, Trey Benson, all guys that were great players that had opportunities if they wanted to be able to uh, to go to the next level. But, you know, these are guys that, you know, they, they it tells you two things. One, they love who they get to do this with. I mean, they, they care about their teammates. You know, they care about representing Florida State. I mean, these guys are passionate about this program, but they also know that they're going to get developed and that they're going to get pushed. And, and I, I believe that, you know, all these guys uh, have wonderful futures in front of them. And, you know, it's a, it's about that continued growth and you know, you know we're pushing them extremely hard um and so my expectations for them was to be better than they've ever been and you know that's the approach that they're bringing to these workouts that's the approach they're bringing to the meeting rooms and uh, you know definitely the approach i expect them to have once we hit that field come uh, you know come monday but uh, you know really proud of our guys and you know grateful for the opportunity to coach them for one more year well coach we appreciate you making some time to jump on with us we're excited to watch y'all get after in the spring and definitely hoping to catch a game down there in Tallahassee and watch y'all get after it in the fall. Absolutely. We're always welcome, and uh, you appreciate you having me on, and go Knowles.